do that. Yeah. Now you do it. There you go. It's unscrewing it, see? So I'm trying to stop that leak. If you own a boat, you'll always have projects, but through them, you grow. And today, Chris wants to share with new and former boat owners how he changes the oil in our catamaran the cleanest way possible. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. So, look at right down here. We have this all, we're gonna put this all the way down in the dipstick. And once we do that, we are going to pump it with this. The oil will start coming up. And then, so we'll just keep pumping this right now for a minute. And note, it's definitely easier when the oil is warm, obviously because it's gonna be thinner. When it's thicker, it's gonna be harder for that oil to suck up out. Now, as this gets a little more full, the less air that's gonna be in here, the less vacuum that I'm gonna have. So, hopefully, it'll get it all out. Pump it up. Pump, 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 it, pump it up. Pump, pump, pump it up. You look like you're having way too much fun pumping that. Yeah. Just remember when you're changing the oil that you make sure if you're looking at uh, Yanmar's website or, or any kind of Yanmar manual that you're on the right engine and the right transmission uh, because they do have different transmissions. These are those uh, direct drives uh, straight in, straight into the rudder, which just got the prop and no like lower unit. It's just the prop and the rudder. Uh, but the model that I have on the Leopard 43 is the uh, 3 3JH 3 4E. Which it'll, of course, show right there. Still pumping. Now, obviously, if you pull out the drain plug, you can catch all that if you can. It's just a little pain. There's more than one way to skin a cat. This is just the way we like to do it, just because uh, it's cleaner. Hope this is an informative video for you. Just waiting on this oil. By the way, after this is done, as we will take the oil filter off, and I'll show you another way uh, to do that, that you don't get oil everywhere. So, it's life hacks, it's what it's all about. Next thing we're gonna do is I'm going to take off the old oil filter and put on the new one. And I'm going to show you how to do that in the cleanest way possible. So the thing I want to do is I want to get some of this oil, uh, the oil mat, sop it up, and I'm going to use a gallon Ziploc bag to put this in here, sop up some of it, and also unscrew the oil filter, and then just all the oil is going to fall into here. Main thing you want to do is you want to make sure it's underneath the oil filter enough. Um, and just keep screwing it until it's off and then just let it sit there and let all the oil drain into the back. Get this. Hey, this part's unrelated. My pressure relief valve on my water heater is leaking. So, uh, yeah. Boat problems. You know, you're always going to have them. But, good things that are worth having take work anyway so there's your Yanmar filter I'm gonna get this put it in the bag unscrew it real quick this ready here you know, I want to do is get that thing broke loose a little bit all right now I want to make sure that this is under here a good ways now you will have to kind of screw a little as you go I 
All right, so now it is off. The thing that we want to do is let it, now, definitely wanted to let it sit under there a little bit longer. Okay. Next, what we want to do is put a little oil around this. Here. Yeah. Some people even like to put oil in the filter. Uh, it's totally up to you, whatever you want to do. When you put the oil filter on, don't crank that thing on real hard. I like to tighten it. Once it, once it gets tight, I just maybe do a quarter to a half turn. You can always tighten it later. Last thing you want to do is stick it, have to stick a screwdriver through it and try to crank that thing off or I have to use an oil filter wrench. It's a lot easier to just crank it off with your hand. Now we got to put some oil in uh, and then we're pretty much done. And we'll definitely want to fire up the engines afterwards and check the oil pressure. So now take this out and put the oil in. Good pressure. All right, so once you start it up, uh, oil pressure looks good and everything. Uh, that's really about it. And that's how we do it here. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Uh, Hit the like button if you like this video and found it informative and we'll see you next time. Stay tuned for any future updates of our journey or any kind of how-tos as we go. Talk to you soon guys. See ya.